Yeah, what's happening? It's your boy, Big Scrap, not the loon. You know what I'm talking about? And y'all checking in with real life street stars, man. Tap in right now, Jack. You feel me? It's your face ass. Real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. Street stars. Everybody start clapping right now. Scrappy in the motherfucking building, what it is, boy. What's happening? Again, back in the building, man. After a month we hit him with that viral shit, man. What's going on, brother? Man, bless, man. Just trying to keep it intact. You know what I'm saying? Tapping in and where is that, Jack? Hey, man. Blessings coming back to the Real Life Street Stars, man. We got to ask you, though, man. First and foremost, man, you did go viral in a way that we didn't expect when you, uh, cool. Marie. What, oh, yeah, bro, bro, you, you notice on this couch, and people might think that was Fugazi or that was that was all plotted. No, literally at the end of that interview we did like last I, time. I was looking at it, I was like, damn, bro, like, cause I, I kept lifting my hand up. And while we were doing the interview, I just noticed, I was just like kind of, I'm like, bro, I don't my 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 index finger don't feel heavy right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, and I look, and that bit was gone. That whole ring was gone. I felt like my finger was gone. You know what I'm saying? So it just let me know that something was wrong. <laughs> That's, man. So I have to ask you, man, because we was actually able to track down, I guess you could say, the person that may have found it at the show you was doing on a Millennium Tour here in Dallas. I seen that. Yeah. And uh, somebody on their behalf reached out to Bams to say, hey, I know this guy. Do you want to you want us to try to hit him up and get, you know, it was like this whole like, should we try to get it back? Were you even worried about the motherfucker after that? Or? Nah, like I, I done lost so many pieces of jewelry. Like I <laughs> How many, if you were to yeah, estimate? I, like a lot. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I don't look at that as uh it ain't the thing to me. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that I want. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't the that ain't what moved me, you know what I'm saying? So like, I, I heard it. Like, you know, everybody would hear me like, hey, bro, I know the people that I was just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker probably got COVID or some shit. I don't <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's fucked over now. It's like a pussy that got another dick in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. <laughs> out of there. I'm cool. Hey, that's a deal. Now, I got to ask you this, though. Like, artists, because you're an artist, you know what I'm saying? And you're a street artist. Like, there's so much pride that goes into a nigga having jewelry. Yeah. And it, it seems like when they get their jewelry taken or whatever, they never want it back type shit. Yeah. Um, when an artist loses his chain and nigga going live with the chain, is his career over with or can he bounce back from that? Nah, 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 nah. Because I'm going to tell you the most goofiest shit in the world for a nigga to rob you and hold your chain up in the, in the camera. You robbed me. <laughs> yeah. And you're holding the chain up in the camera saying that you got all the evidence. I can get a little chick. <laughs> to, to, to press charges on you like say she had it and you robbed her you know what I'm saying like for real like I can get that back like it's that's dumb you know what I'm saying like it like and then it leave room open for the street guys that I know that know the chain and like bro I don't even care bro I'm finna go get it bro I'm finna go get it yeah. like, you just you just out there you know what I'm saying like I don't care like it, it, I'm put it like this if a, if a motherfucker also, they how I feel. If a motherfucker catch you slipping, then they caught you slipping. Mm. You gotta charge that to the gang. You gotta keep going. I mean, it's a street thing, though. It's a street thing. You know what I'm saying? It's really a street thing. And you got sucker motherfuckers and you got real motherfuckers. A real motherfucker know I was slipping. I learned my lesson. Let's keep pushing. Sucker gonna know I feel played. Mm. I need to go. I need to go do something dumb to get my shit back. Everybody gonna be looking at me, nah, bro. Cause at the at the given time, like a nigga gonna walk right past you. Yeah. A motherfucker walk right past you, who robbed you or whatever, walk right past you, ain't got the same protection, ain't moving the same way, you ain't slipping. Mm. And that nigga walk right past you, and you just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the drop. <laughs> the dime. I got, I got him. <laughs> He's oh opportunity. You like a dream. You like <laughs> you like he's right here. Like I, I have him, and and, and and you know where I'm from, man. Like it's small, so I feel like the world is small. If you living in the United States, nigga, I'm gonna run back into you again. 
So I'm curious, and just hypothetically, let's say a chain does go missing. Yeah. Someone holds it up, I got it, and then some people, powers that be, politic and get it back to you. Yeah. Do you still wear that chain? Now that I wear that chain. Okay. I wear that chain because it's mine. I paid for it. <laughs> right. You feel what I'm saying? That's I paid, real. I paid for it. You feel what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if a motherfucker, like, if you get it off another month, like, put it like this. If a motherfucker take your chain, my nigga, and you willing to just throw your money away, I'm willing to throw nothing away, get my chain back, and fuck the nigga up at the same time. <laughs> That's my whole thing. I think that should happen. But if the whole agreement is to let the nigga go and get your chain back, that's cool too. That cool too. Cause the nigga let it go. And he could have been on some other shit. So I mean, you know, it just it just gotta it, it depend on the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It could be an ugly motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? It could be like one of them cool motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? You gotta just depend on. Cause that's the, the day we living in. We not living in the day where niggas is snitching and everybody, you know, everybody mad. We living in a day that niggas snitch and everybody's happy and cool with it. You feel what I'm saying? So we're different. The well, day is different. Yeah, tell them about the, the movie idea. We put on uh, which one? Uh, which which cool. one? Oh, the Greasy Neck Tour. Yeah, see, see, yeah, see, okay. Greasy Neck, yeah, movie so I got I got a movie. Hold on, hold on. You said the Greasy The neck. Greasy Neck Tour is the name of the, is the name of the movie. Don't steal my shit. <laughs> So, oh, so yeah. this the, the picture is, it's it's a movie, right? Nigga walk outside, he get robbed for his chain, right? But the camera's inside the chain, so you follow the life of the chain going from a nigga neck to neck. Neck to neck. Hey, that's the dopest <laughs> shit in the world. Girl. Come on, man. Hey, <laughs> come on, come on, man. Hey, that's, yeah. man. that's the dopest <laughs> shit in the world, girl. Yeah. Cause niggas is like, hey, no, 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 what is shit? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 but the thing, the thing is, this is what everybody fail to realize. Once the chain is on one neck, whoever got the chain on is scared for their life. <clears throat> you feel me? So they even looking at their partner, who they robbed the nigga with, they looking at him like, yeah, he might Are we good? <laughs> Type shit. <laughs> Are you gonna run with the chain? Like when I give it up. This is crazy. Yeah, like nigga, like have a little moment. Nigga be like, so we're gonna do the chain. He be like, <laughs> I got some ideas. No, no, no. Niggas' ideas just be flowing through their own head. They don't even wanna say it. I mean, if you were real, I mean, I done been through this shit before. I just be like, nigga be like, Shit, nigga, I mean, what you finna do? I don't want to snatch it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you finna do, you know what I'm saying? You want the, what, what you want, the chain or the charm or some shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? What you talking about? I don't know what you talking about. Like, what you saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all kind of shit go through the nigga head, cuz. Nigga be like, nigga be like, hey, nah, I don't want that with holding the gun, though, bro. Like, like, you, and you, I, you, you I, and I. I was scared to hold a gun at first, bro. Like, I'm just saying, like, and, all and, kind of niggas didn't want to break down why a nigga shouldn't have the jury, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Said, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then I still got the gun, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, no, nah, that's, that's the worst shit. That's the worst shit. No, but look, these days, both niggas got a gun because both niggas is looking at each other. You feel what I'm saying? Like, oh, this shit might go down bad. And everybody go in high. You got to think, yeah. niggas go in high. So niggas already paranoid from the jump. Niggas looking at each other like. <laughs> now, uh, they speak keep looking at the nigga. You feel? Me? <laughs> now speaking of chains, um, where well, there was a young artist from Memphis that just passed, um, Big Scar. Um, there was a situation where that was discussed that his funeral didn't get paid for. Blase, 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 whatever. But. The biggest complaint was uh, his label, uh, the owner label, which is Gucci. He was on 1017. He asked for his jury back. Yeah. Um, now, of course, whenever you invest in the artist, everything is an investment from the jury to the clothes to the lifestyle. You create that for the artist. But in that scenario where you have an artist that mm -hmm. you've, you know, you've kind of outfitted their life to give them the lifestyle so they can be successful, what is the protocol about? You know, if something happens to them with their possessions that you bought them, that you think? Anything that I pay for is definitely a gift. You know what I'm saying? I don't, 
I don't be, I ain't, I, I ain't that that type of dude, the Indian giver type situation. Yeah. But that's personally, mm. business wise, if I have paid for something in my business name and something like that, and I mean, you were living your life. <clears throat> I had nothing to do with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right, right. Shit happens. Right. I need some of my investment back. You feel me? I That's need real. them little chains that I gave you. I need that back. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Because guess what you gonna guess what your family gonna get forever? Your streams. Okay, yeah. That. And your publishing. That's real. What I'm gonna get? Nothing. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta just look at it like, okay, I know what his family gonna get if they fight for it, if they go for it, because you gotta fight if you if if there's nothing in place that the actual artist put in place, right. then it's a fight. And then no matter what, like I don't care, it's gonna be a fight between the family, it's gonna be a fight between the family and the record label. It's gonna be a fight if it's you gonna don't be put nothing in place. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like you know, it's it's um but if something's in if, if nothing is in place and you just gave somebody you know, you bought the jewelry. If you right. bought the jewelry, plus they had other jewelry, hey man, look, let me get that back. And you know, I don't want nothing. Cause really? Right. Cousin just go out to hit money and just get hit money and just and be like, well, he owe me, you know what I'm saying? I already know. He cannot go for the jewelry and be like, he y'all can have the jewelry, I just go for what he owe me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, it's and I was it's, it's, tu it's touchy. It's like, very touchy. It's, it's very it's touchy. touchy. It's touchy. And I want your thoughts on this because, you know, you were young in the game and I heard this from another person who said, um, you know, rap artists don't really sign wills and like do insurance policy because they feel like that's almost saying that something's going to happen to them. Yeah. Did you sign a will or do an insurance pol policy early on in your career, like to make sure your family's good? Like, did you take care of that up front? I feel like the baby mamas did. Mm. They knew better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the uh, my my um people who I had babies with. <laughs> <laughs> so this they, they knew better. Them. You know what I'm yeah, they knew better. Like and I and I appreciate that. I like I mean that's true. Yeah. I mean it's true. Like like I don't know how the fuck, you know what I'm saying, we do it, but we'll speak deaf on ourselves, but don't want to speak deaf on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> rap about it, but then when you're in the interview, don't talk about it. Yeah, you know I can't. Yeah, I can't. Like, I can't. Real weird. I can't speak it, but bro, you just. But you all, you know, you know, it, it says it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what language, I don't care what uh, religion, I don't care what what you own. You gonna always come back to that that whole little saying that you know, what I'm saying the tongue hold the power of life and death. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So or whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? That's the man manifestation of what what your mind thinking, your mouth. You that's know what I'm saying? Because it could just stay in your mind. Nah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? But when, it, when that motherfucker come out, that motherfucker, and, and, and really in the mind, that motherfucker just sit in the mind and manifest too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you really feeling that. You really believe that. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you believe, that shit real. God. That shit real. Like, if yeah. a motherfucker believe he going to be broke, Hey bro, like I, I'm, I'm, man, I'm, I'm fucked up, bro. I'm bro. Like I ain't even finna say that. Man. I ain't even finna say that. I don't. I, man, listen, I ain't, I ain't saying that shit. Yeah, nah, I ain't bro. fucked up. I could be like nothing in my pocket. I'm gonna be like, but I'm straight. Power the tongue. I'm power. straight. You're right. Power the tongue. You feel me, straight? Now, and that's why I'm glad you're here, man. Because again, our last interview, people noticed that man scrappy when he does when he he did the real life interview, and I'm I, any interviews you do for, going forward. You come from such a real place to where people might not have known that, like, nah, that he's experienced life and he's been some real shit. So let's do it like this. Um, we seen you uh, uh, right after our interview, the promo for Love and Hip Hop Drop. Yeah. And that first episode, uh, you and Mama D. Yeah. Y'all had a situation. That was the last episode. The last episode, I'm sorry, yes. And, but that's but that what was put out at the time of our interview. And I'm like, um, y'all came from, you came from a place to where, a lot of men would never probably speak on right. and get to that point to where they could let that out. Uh, I'm just curious, um, did you, what was in your head when that, as it was happening, before you gave that heartfelt speech, was it supposed to even come out like that? Or what, like, what was going on in that moment? 
Well, at that moment, God, honest truth, like I was going through something with my damn wife and I was going through something with my mama at the same time. And then I was going through just regular life shit. You know what I'm saying? So I um I was I was hey man, like Mom Dudes popped it off. Like she just kept saying shit and talking shit and just doing little shit and you know who I was with at the time was doing shit and just, you know, I was I was just like, man, like I need to let this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like I need to I need to uh, unload finally, you know what I'm saying? There wasn't nothing even holding me back. Like on the inside, you know how as a man, like we all got something to be like, nah, I'm, man, right. fuck that shit. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? But it didn't, it, didn't, it didn't jump in the mix, you know what I'm saying? It just let it go, it just was gone, you know what I'm saying? And I was, I was cool with it. You know, I was cool with just showing my emotion because I ain't never really did that shit. And I, I was just looking at it like, even when I do show emotion, like y'all motherfucker don't hear, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga gotta come with, you know, just the real, like just let go. Yeah, the, the what I liked about it, right? I think um, women need to see that because as men, a lot of us suffer in silence because I don't, I don't think I don't think certain women care though. Damn, I don't think certain women care because when I look at what, what you know. When these days is different from like those days, you know what I'm saying? These days and those days are different. Like when you got grown, real grown women, real grown women, real grown women looking at Instagram for their answer, that's a problem. I can see kids. I can see my little girl coming to me saying, Daddy, like an 18 year old, 17 year old, or the baby's coming to me like, Hey, what's this going on on Instagram? Like it got me. I can't see a grown woman or a grown man going off Instagram saying that that turned their whole day around. That made they, you know what I'm saying? Like that 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 was, you know, when they wake up, that's what they go to. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I, I don't understand human beings making the phone and social media they got. You know what I'm saying? Because for real, what makes you turn, what makes you feel like you you comfortable in life and what makes you feel like like I'm gonna be here another day, it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's some whole other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like for a motherfucker to be comfortable and looking at TV, looking at anything they look at and seeing that it's motherfuckers dying every day and you can be the next motherfucker, that's what we live in at. Like right. you can wake up the next day literally and be the next motherfucker to die. You know what I'm saying? And niggas just don't even care about that part of it. Right. They don't even care about that part of it. You know, they look at it, they see it, they be like, it's real. But then they really care about the insufficient shit. Like the shit that don't even matter. Like the shit that ain't even, a nigga called you a bitch ass motherfucker, a bitch ass nigga. And you can literally walk away from that shit. You can literally walk away from that shit, my nigga, and go home, take care of your babies. Woo woo woo. But it was your ego that stopped you and was like, nah, I'm a f I gotta fuck you over. <laughs> like, I gotta, yeah. Whether it's you the shooter or you the nigga that gets shot, then you you had an ego on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but we always pass that part and we wanna be on that other shit, bro. We wanna be on the other side to where shit don't even matter. Real life going on, but shit don't even matter. Like the real part of that shit don't even matter. The shit that got you grieving every day right. don't even matter. <clears throat> Women, they, they you see them out there, they fight more than niggas now. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. they ready to go off the hinges more than niggas now, and they can't even grasp the whole of, hey, I don't even know this motherfucker. <laughs> right. Why I'm finna fight this motherfucker? I got kids, I got all kind of shit going on. Like, right. why the fuck would I waste my energy right. on this situation? Right. Then these same motherfuckers want to go fight and march in the whole march for a whole nother black motherfucker that they were ready to kill. Right. You was just ready to kill a whole nother black motherfucker. Yeah. A whole black motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? You finna go knock that motherfucker off. You didn't even want them up, or you gonna go snitch on the motherfucker to make that motherfucker go to jail for his whole life or her whole life. But you really ready to go out here and stand up and be like, yo, I'm going to go march for these folk. What are you doing? What's going on in your life? You do not understand who you're marching for? It's the same motherfucker. 
Like, it's a different motherfucker, but it's the same kind of motherfucker. Not facts. So, again, it comes from a place to where some men may some men may watch what you did yeah. who have been through the same thing you've been through where as a young kid, they might see their mother, maybe it's a single family household, it's just my, me and my mom's, but there were some things that you were doing I don't approve of. Yeah. And some men will wait all their life to say what you said to their mother. Yeah. Should young men speak sooner about things that they dislike about what they may see in their household? Well, I mean, de depending on where they at in their life, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, we don't never know when to speak. You don't never know when it's the right time. You know what I'm saying? Like, should I say this? Should I? I mean, a young, a young mo teenage motherfucker don't even know what they what they going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got some that'll catch on early and be like, "Oh yeah, I know." Now, if you that and you catch on early, yeah, you should say something. But you just say it in a a, a, a respectful way that you know that's your mom and your dad that you talking to. You know what I'm saying? But other than that. What I know, half motherfuckers don't even know they going through shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't find out the later. I ain't find out the later that I had mama issues, daddy issues, shit like that. You don't even know that they're, those are issues. You know what I'm saying? You think that shit regular. You think that shit normal. Like I told motherfuckers, like, the shit how we, like, how niggas be like, oh, that's just hood shit, bro. Nah, that shit ain't real, nigga. That shit ain't normal, nigga. That's our normal, nigga. Because get what? You go find another motherfucker, that shit ain't normal to him. I done been around him. I done been around another motherfucker when I was a kid, and I'm telling him my story and shit was going on in the house and shit. Nigga, like, <laughs> nigga, trying to, he trying to, he feel like he just got shot. He trying to crawl up out that bit, like, nigga, like, <laughs> yeah. Nah, no, because you you thinking like because you in the same you in the same hood or you in the same school or you might your grandma might come get you and take you somewhere. You think. Everything is the same, you know what I'm saying? But everything is not the same, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't normal, nigga. Like, that shit ain't normal for your mama to be pimping, selling crack. You know what I'm saying? It ain't normal for you to be helping your mama do that shit. That's it ain't right. normal for you to stay up all night, then go to school and, like, you try and listen to what they talking about, but you have no help at the house to help you after the shit for the homework, but they still want homework. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have no help for that shit. Like, it's, it's certain shit, bro, like, that people go through and motherfucker be like, oh man, you know, man, you have no idea. You know what I'm saying? You have no idea what a nigga go through. You know what I'm saying? And people uh, know what a nigga done went through, them understand what a nigga done went through and still shit on a nigga whole life. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that just <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, when it comes to things like that, do you think therapy helps? Therapy always helps. Therapy and God. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't even know what God is. For real, everybody always, you know, we have a belief system and all that. We don't know what God is. We don't know if it's just a, a thing of energy that 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 we tapped into, that we understand from the get go. That's what made it because whatever was whatever human was here in the beginning is is still in us. The DNA is still in us from the beginning. We know something made this shit. Like you know what I'm saying? We know. And then you even know by organisms that it's certain organisms that was about this big, long time ago, now that motherfucker this big, you know what I'm saying? So we could have been like this big and then we we here now. Time, you know what I'm saying? And then you look at it and you be like, there is something that made me. You know what I'm saying? There is something that made the beginning, all that crazy shit, all these rules. You know what I'm saying? Then you got different shit like the Bible and the Quran and everything like that. That you it got it messages, it's all kind of messages that's, that's there. You know what I'm saying? You just got to tap into something. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just believe that we we just we we everybody just tapped into different things. You know what I'm saying? We all tapped into different things, and everybody think that they way and their thing is the way. You know what I'm saying? But everybody that just tapped into them and, and understand that like this is a dolo situation. You know what I'm saying? This is a yeah. real dolo situation. I don't give a fuck how much, how many family you got. I don't give a fuck how much they love you. I don't give a fuck how much respect you got. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. This this life that we live in, it's a dolo situation, bro. I really feel like it's a dolo situation. The situation that we go through is really fitted for us. You know what I'm saying? To see if you can make it through. Yeah. Some people kill themselves. Some people got them just 
set themselves up for failure, you know what I'm saying? Some people just be, they gonna go for it. You know what I'm saying? So like that's how I feel. Black man to black man, um, you're married. You know, um You said what now? Say black I said black man to black man, right? You're a married, you're a married man, right? I used to be, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna ask you, yeah. um, from that perspective, what do you think is um the you know, you being married at, at a point in time, what is some of the advice you would give to people who are going into those situations like getting married or proposing, getting engaged? <clears throat> <laughs> what I can give somebody that want to get married, man, and I'm gonna give us, uh, some some advice to a person that that's married and that want to stay married. You know what I'm saying? Need that. Um, if you want to get married, man, man, make sure that shit. Make sure that person is your best friend. Okay, I like that. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Like. You gotta make sure the person that you marrying is really there for you and not there for no insignificant um agenda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like they own shit. You know? How do you how do you as a man detect that? Cause I was talking to a woman about this. I say, a man will court a woman, yeah. spoil a woman, yeah. spend all his money on her, and by the time some real shit happened to him, he find out way too late in the game that they not really there for him. Yeah, but but still in still then. I mean, the woman don't know though. You know what I'm saying? It's like nobody knows what's going on. Even if the, cause a woman might think like, I really like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just like a man might think I really like this lady, but then after sex, after certain shit happened, motherfucker like, oh, Ugh. I'm cool. Oh, I'm straight. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't shit. think I need to be a part of this. You know what I mean? Oh, you shit. Know? But I mean, but that's why that's why I say like grown ups, real grown people. You know what I'm saying? If you call yourself grown, and you know some people think it's money, like oh I take care of myself, so I'm grown. No, no, no. Like it's for real shit. Like how you handle people, how you handle yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You gotta ask the right questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My sister, I'm gonna shout out my sister Trisha. She 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 found out what I was going through. She said, "Hey, y'all little motherfuckers don't be asking the right questions. Y'all ask everything but the right question. Like y'all wanna fuck the bitch. Y'all want head. Y'all wanna kick it. Y'all wanna do all this fun shit, but you don't ask the real important questions." It's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what? What are some of the questions we should ask? What you like giving head? Is, is this your real? Is this your real name? <laughs> that's a good ass question. That's a start. No, for real. Is this your real age? Is this how you act for real? How do you look when you, you know what I'm saying? You take all that makeup, cause y'all be tricking motherfuckers. Yeah, for a while. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> how does your hair look when you take that wig off? or your extensions off. You know what I'm saying? Just like niggas, like, hey, like, what it look like, what you act like when you broke, bro? What, 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 what you look like without a haircut, bro? Like when your hair go, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you treat kids, my nigga? Do you want kids, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's a lot of stuff we don't be asking, and then when, you know, we, we blame the other person, but we ain't even ask that person. You know what I'm saying? That person would have probably told you that, you know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. Man, I, it's crazy because I was talking to about, about this to uh, my pastor and he was like, uh, he's like, I was talking about one wife and he was like, uh, I said, I told God what I want. I said, you know, that's a lot of y'all. He said, a lot of y'all always telling God what y'all want. Yeah. Never, never telling them what you need because yeah. you don't even know what you need. Yeah. You know what you want. You know you want a, a physically nice looking woman who all those qualities, but you don't even know what you need. Yeah. I feel like we know what we need. I feel like men, women, people of our species, we know what we need and we know what we want. But the want is louder than the need. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? That, that, that want is like, that want is, is like a negative and a positive. You know what I'm saying? That want, like, I mean, look at what we want, bro. Like, we want everything to kill us, everything that harm us, everything that give us bad pain. Everything to give us bad feelings, you know what I'm saying? We want that. Mm. We want that good looking girl. We want that 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 big car. We want that big house. We want a hundred kids. We want all the money. But then if you look at it, when you get all that shit, 
all that shit come with something. Mm. All that shit come with pain. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything, the, the, the fine woman come with pain. Yeah. You want a lot of money, come with pain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the big guy, come with pain. You want a hundred kids, come with pain. Yeah. Like everything come with pain is just how you going to deal with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Are you going to act like it's pain? Or are you going to act like that's what you want? Not you know real. what I'm saying? I mean, if that's what you want, that's what you want. Like, ain't nobody fighting you about it. There is nobody to fight you for it nah. or about it. Who going to tell you, oh, you can't have it? <laughs> you can't have the money that you want that's in your head. You can't have it. You're going to be like, man, all the other niggas got it? Like, how I can't get it? Like, yeah. that's impossible. Facts. It's really impossible. Every joy has pain that come behind it. Um, Exactly. I got to ask. Every pain got joy that come behind it. Facts. Um. Would you, do you feel you'll be where you'll be now? Or do you take anything back if you did have, let's say, a normal childhood where your father and your mother married, grew up, y'all did normal suburban stuff and it was just normal household? Do you feel you'll be where you are? And do you feel like maybe not that situation and going through what you went through caused you to be here and who you are? Do you prefer what you are now or did you want that? I need a mother and a father who love each other and you know take me to school, college, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And you look at, man, listen, I look at all that shit, bro. All that shit come from somewhere. If you had both of your mom and your daddies, you a white suburban kid and everything was good for you, get what, you still got problems. Ain't nobody finna come through this bitch. <laughs> nobody. I mean, you know, you, you, got, you got broke motherfuckers that look at a, a wealthy, famous motherfucker and be like, he gay. Oh, he did, he did this. And you be like, and you have no idea the shit that a nigga had to go through to get to where he at. Facts. You know what I'm saying? You had no idea the 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 sacrifice and the shit that that nigga probably came from way up under you. Like he was probably broken than you. His people were probably broken than you and he just had that extra, I ain't gonna be like this forever type shit. That's what I was on. I was like, yeah. I ain't gonna be like this forever. Like I don't know nothing about that shit. I know what I want to be and I'm gonna go for it and I ain't finna lose. It's, 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 a, it's a difference between people. You know what I'm saying? It's, you got them give up motherfuckers and you got the shit me motherfuckers. You know mm. what I'm saying? Shit me motherfucker. like, I don't give a fuck what happened, nigga. But listen, let me get my two my two months in the pain, nigga. Let me go and get up out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and you got the other motherfucker that's just going to sit there and ain't nothing going to happen from that. Nothing. Because life runs off energy. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't you ain't putting the, the energy where it need to be, then it ain't gonna go. If you put it in the negative shit, nigga, your life gonna be negative as fuck. I don't give a fuck, cause niggas be like, well, my life was already negative. Well, then make it positive. <laughs> Speak switch, some shit. Switch, Speak some shit into existence, nigga. Like, talk some shit. Work on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work on that shit. I done been that nigga that been de depressed and been like, boy, this shit's going down, nigga. Like, I'm never gonna be able to get back up, nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I done yeah. been, like I said, I done been. Like four, five, ten years, nigga, deep in hell, nigga, like, and where, nigga, I'm walking past people and it ain't a little scrappy. It's, what's that, what's that nigga? What, what, I, I know, cause I, I know him. What's, and then when something happened for me, everybody know me again. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Remember the name, yeah. Everybody know, but all you gotta do is survive. All you gotta do is keep pushing. And guess what? I would have still been in the same place. I would have still been walking, living life, and ended up in the same place because it's going to, your life is your life, nigga. That's you know right. what I'm saying? My life is not that nigga life who I'm listening to on the radio, who I'm looking at on the movie, who I'm inspiring to be. My life is nowhere near that nigga life. Mm. I'm my own person. I, when, when I look up and when I wake up in the morning, I got my own movies. I got my own movie screen in my, like these are movie screens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can see past a movie theater. You can see past, you can see, you can see the whole earth, nigga. If you stand on top of some shit, you can be like, oh shit. That's right. I don't need a movie screen. I don't need a camera, nigga. I can see everything. My this shit coming out of my shit, nigga. Like, I see everything I want to see, nigga. Mm. And guess what? You go a certain place, you're gonna see different shit. But motherfuckers be stuck. Everybody be stuck in their feelings. Like you said, if, if they can't get nowhere, if they, they everybody be stuck in their feelings. Nigga, I can't get, I can, you can't get nowhere because you stuck in your feelings. That's fact. You stuck at where you at and where you think you, like today and tomorrow are two different things, nigga. And if a motherfucker think like that, we'll be better. Man, and that's real. So I'm curious, when you look at today, like with artists today, who do you see that's most like you 
and not knowing, you know, not, not knowing the history, but just from what you see on the outside, who do you feel as far as a young artist that's most like you that you probably see a lot of yourself in right now? Like Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like motherfuckers that even even Kodak, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas that speak that real shit. Yeah. Nigga might, you might see a nigga like really like acting out and then you be like, Man, I don't understand this shit. Yeah, yeah, like, not nigga be rapping some real <laughs> shit, but he be, but that's just, it's it just, you know, like, when a nigga rapping his life and what he go through, that's that's the maturity in him. Yeah. Because he mature enough to to say what he going through and not act it out again. Yeah. But then you got another motherfucker that's that's acting out and he ain't even going through that and then the motherfucker that they listen to, for real. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, nigga be like, oh man, like, niggas just killed a hundred niggas and he still out this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Nigga be like, no, nigga. Like, he, that nigga ain't, uh, <laughs> He's still out this bitch. <laughs> Look, if that nigga killed something, that nigga gonna be gone in a minute. Nigga, like, they got, they got shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's no. like everybody don't. It's like, I'll be like, who teaching y'all niggas, man? <laughs> like, I'll I be wanting to sit on the edge of the couch like this, right? And be like, hey, bro, look. Like, I know what I did. Yeah. I know the bullshit I did. But it wasn't a lot of knowledge when I was coming up. You know, it's a lot of you knowledge. Access to the knowledge, it's yeah. It's like a lot, uh, like that motherfucker, knowledge, hey, knowledge flood through the fucking shit, like everything. Ignorant shit, knowledge, but like I say, everybody gonna go for the ignorant shit because that's cool. Ignorant shit is cool. Dying is cool. Going to jail, getting fucked in your ass is cool. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm saying. All I'm saying. All I'm saying. You all lost I'm me, saying. Scrap. That's the shit niggas run into. That's the shit niggas run into. I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm bringing straight reality. This is reality. I don't want shit cut. This is straight reality. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like niggas, no, we don't cut nothing. Like when I go talk to kids and shit. When I go talk to kids, I tell them straight up, my nigga. Like, if you can go sit in the corner and look at that motherfucking wall. For five or ten minutes, nigga, I got a hundred to two hundred for you right now, baby. Five, man, listen, come on. Five to ten minutes, you sit in that corner right now. I got a hundred to two hundred for you right now. Easy. You ain't have to work for it. You just stood there. You got a hundred to two hundred dollars that you didn't have in your pocket, and the motherfuckers can't last two minutes, nigga. What the fuck you think you finna go to in jail, my nigga? Ain't nothing but walls. Ain't nothing but Whatever you is, man or female, that's what you is. That's what you gonna have in there with you. I don't know how you gonna do it, you feel what I'm saying? How you gonna survive or how you gonna get down? You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's on you. Right. But I'm just saying, can you take that? Niggas don't think about that shit before they go do what they do. Even though seen, even though they seen a million motherfuckers go through the same shit. The same shit. It's like, what are we, what are we doing right now? What, are we, why are we even pulling up these like Martin Luther King posters and Malcolm X? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why are we standing on the platform trying to tell these motherfuckers to change their shit when the motherfuckers that birthed them don't even tell them that? Amen. The niggas that birthed them don't even like the nigga. Like you don't tell your son, nigga, like he can die right. doing dumb shit. Right. You don't want to at least if you ain't gonna take care of him, nigga. Look, at least go game him. Go fill them up with game. Right. I don't like you, little nigga. I don't want to take care of you, but I'm going to give you some game so you won't end up like me. And it be suckers like that. But then you have baby mamas that that are worse than that, than the daddies, because you got the daddy that's always there with the kid, the son or the daughters and shit, and they try to make him like he's not there. And they try to put that pressure on them and the mental abuse and, the, and all that, like saying that you're not even there. And the nigga like, I'll be there all the time with me and Cub, me and Cub be together every week. Like I see this nigga all the time. Like, I'm, I don't know, I do not not know him. He know me, I know him. But you know, some women will try to fill your head up with shit, hoping that you grasp on to that shit. Man, you know, um, there's a study that was done that said, parents, children who have both their parents are just their father are less likely to go to jail, but single mothers who raise children, ch the chance of the child going to jail is significantly higher. Because it's emotional. Yeah. A woman raising, my, my, my mama raised me mostly, but I still had my daddy. 
And if I would just, if I just had my mama, it would be emotional roller coaster. Like, I mean, my life already emotional roller coaster, but I'm talking about like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, listen, man. <laughs> I, I thank God for my dad. Right oh, hey, man, I, I thank God for my mom. I'm just saying it's like, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, and you know, women are the key to everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest with that because women hold the key to life. You know what I'm saying? Like it, without them, ain't no life happening. You know what I'm saying? Like you can think of it, but it ain't happening if they don't let it out. You know what I'm saying? So I know women are the key to life and the right woman can help you to get where you want to be. For sure. You know what I'm saying? In life, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't made it there yet, you find the right woman, like she got you. But when it come to kids, you know, women are emotional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got the mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got the idea, you know what I'm saying? But then it come to the fact that where when some shit shake up, can you just, you got some women that can hold it down, bro. Hey man, listen, them, them women are raised by their mama and their daddy. Whether they was in the same house or not, they still was raised by both of them. You know what I'm saying? But then you got women that weren't raised by their mama and their daddy and they have a little extra <clears throat> men too. They have a little extra situation like, you know, you don't know your mama, you don't know your daddy, you don't know how a nigga move, you don't know how a woman move. I get that, you know what I'm saying? But then you get to them people that don't give a fuck about none of that shit. And I understand that too. They be like, ain't no excuses in life. There's no excuses. They always say that. You don't get out of the bed, you don't make the money. You don't go to work, you don't make the money. You know what I'm saying? You go, you you too emotional, you gonna do something you regret. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's all, everything is put there. Everything is put out in front of everybody. Like me, you, the dumbest nigga, the smartest nigga, it's even broke down. It's even broke down for the dumbest nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. the smartest motherfucker, the dumbest motherfucker, we all know the same shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Except for the people that are a little off a little bit and we know they, you know. We go to, we go, you know, we got shit for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's being real. You can, they motherfucking be sensitive about it, they won't, but you know who you are. And just be honest about that shit. If you be honest about who you are, you ain't gonna be sensitive about it. You're gonna be like, that's who I am. That's real. But motherfuckers is not like really, they don't, they are, they have ambition for shit that ain't meant for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's good to be faithful and be like, man, look, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna do. But it's like, at some point, like when you get to that point, you like, okay, that shit ain't working. You know, <laughs> I'm about to be dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be dead. Like, you know, I mean, it's good to have faith. Yeah, 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 for sure. You gotta have faith. But yeah. if at some point, that shit telling you like, that ain't, this ain't the right thing. You don't tell nobody, but just slip into another lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just do yourself a, you know, a favor. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. yourself. It's yeah. you. Because people don't know who that is talking to them. They don't know if it's God. They don't know who it is. But I'm like, bro, it's your voice. Right. Your voice is talking to you saying that your spirit telling you that I don't need to be here. This is not my lane. I need to be over here where I can make a hell of a lot of money. Everybody shit there, bro. Everybody shit there. Everybody dream. Everybody had them, them, them little visions. Everybody had them. Everybody. There's not one person on this earth that didn't have that vision of what they really supposed to be doing. But everybody do like this too. <laughs> Look what that nigga doing, bro. That nigga got damn. God damn, that nigga got damn. God damn, boy, nigga. I, boy, if I would have did that shit, what? No, hold on, bro. <laughs> Why you can't just focus on what you doing, bro? Yeah, and get that how you get there. Right. And them niggas always make it too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The quit niggas make it, but the niggas that work for that shit, they always make it too. Yeah, straight up. No matter how long you see them old white men that they're sitting up in that big ass house, you think they Jay got that shit? Nah, nigga, Jay, this shit, nigga been working on that shit. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, like Jay Z say. Y'all seen do say, nigga, I've been working on that shit for like seven to 10 years, nigga, like, that shit just had happened. Y'all knew I was a part of it, but I didn't get what I wanted for like to 10 years later. Nah, for real. I'm sitting up here marketing, promoting this shit, like going hard, y'all buying it, drinking it, and all that. I ain't get my shit to 17 years later. Man. It's worth. Yeah. 
<clears throat> the whole thing of life is work. What the fuck you finna do? The whole time you living, what are you finna do? You finna chill? You wanna chill? You wanna like what what the where the fruit at? What what a tree at full of fruit that you just chill and just <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like, like the pictures. Yeah. Like the pictures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just <laughs> <laughs> in your little album. Yeah. In your little album. Yeah. How you in your little album? That's the same shit they talk. They, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The picture that they showed them when we were little, yeah. Adam and Eve and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, tree. yeah. And, and you sitting there, you sitting there like you like that nigga. But he white though. What a black. <laughs> he don't even look like me. Was we? My dad ate off a fruit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all kind of shit we need to even ask, we need to ask questions about before we even get mad at the nigga next to us. Yeah. Get mad at our daddy, get mad at our mom. You got to ask these motherfuckers who taught them that. You know what I'm saying? Who's the cause and who's the effect? Man, if you could ask God one question, man, what would it be? I would never ask God a question. I would just let him tell me because he will. You know what I'm saying? Everything that you that you want to know, he already know you want to know. So that day that they come and he sit me down and he be like, I, this is what I feel. I feel like God gonna sit everybody down and be like, all right, my nigga, look. <laughs> this what it is. I know you done been through your whole little journey and shit. <laughs> you know, I've been watching the whole time. This shit was funny, girl. You feel me? The time you got scared, you thought you were gonna die? Nah, it was crazy. <laughs> Niggas just be like, but look though. All them little moments that was reckless and negative, I had nothing to do with. It was all you. <laughs> it's all us, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. I don't blame nobody for my shit. It's all me. I tell my daddy, my daddy's the most spiritual, most knowledgeable man I know in my life, you know what I'm saying? And I be like, how, how, this, how this happen? And he be like, Shh. You gotta look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause everything we do, we figure that out. I'm talking about the stuff that go bad, you can tell God didn't have nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Like we jumped the conclusion. Oh, that girl right there? Oh, shit, I wanted her, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't asked no court, I ain't asked God, what am I supposed to have her? I didn't pray for that. I just said I wanted that and I went and got it. That money right there, that, that 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 business I wanted, I ain't asked God for that. I just said I wanted to go get it, and I went and got it. So it's a whole different, it's two-sided to life. It's like the shit I want and the shit that's meant for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, And the shit that, that I want probably ain't going to even be in my life at the end of it. The shit that's meant for me is going to be there, no matter what. Would, would you ever remarry now that you've been through that? Yeah, I remember. Like I, it's 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 the person and it's yourself. It's two. It take two people to marry. It take two people to stay married. You know what I'm saying? So I look at it like, you know what I'm saying? Even though like it's a lot of it's a lot of work. And when people say it's a lot of work, it's a lot of work because it's two different people coming into a life together. And you want you want to try to you don't want to consume this person life. You don't want to oversaturate this person's life. You want to like make it a part of yours. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if they don't understand your life, if y'all don't know each other, then that's a real that's a real chemical and a chemistry for failure. Do you think being in a high profile relationship makes it ten times worse? Or oh hell yeah, uh, being uh, a high profile relationship makes everything worse because somebody's gonna be thinking about how they look. Yeah, uh, at all times. Think about how they look, and somebody's gonna be thinking reality. It's gonna be two different things. That's right. Or you can have two people thinking reality, or you can have two people thinking about how they look. Mm. And two people thinking about how they look, or one person thinking about how they look, is the wrong shit. Ooh. You feel what I'm saying? That's the wrong shit in life. Thinking about how how people look at you, and how you perceived, how you perceive when you perceive yourself a whole different way. Like you think that you are this, I think you should run with that. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Like, I don't think you should run with what they think because they don't even know you and they just looking from afar. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, 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 I left that shit alone a long time ago, bro. Like it's nothing that they can put on my Instagram. It's nothing they can put on any social media. It's nothing they can say and be like, oh, Scrappy is it. It doesn't even matter. 
Mm. Because you saying my name right now. Facts. It's, it's all in the conversation. Facts. You feel what I'm saying? Guess Facts. what? Even if you don't say my name, guess what? You gonna listen to something. You gonna hear something I'm on. You gonna you even probably don't even know it's me. Facts. But you listening. You streaming. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be on your TV. No matter what. Yeah. You feel no I'm matter saying? what. No matter what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too big. Only because I'm 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 in God's light. Not because of me. Not because I did something just dramatic and just awesome. You know what I'm saying? I'm in God's light. I got yeah. favor. I know it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I, I would be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's nothing nobody could do unless it's me. I could tear my whole shit down right now. Only I can do it. Making the wrong moves, thinking the wrong way, having the wrong mindset. I do all that shit. But an actual person, a human being like me, that have the same power I got, mm. can never do it. So They've been trying for years. They've been saying, they, they man, listen, bro. They been saying so much shit about me for years, bro. <laughs> just, I'm talking on, about, I, I even got it. You can go all the way back in my Instagram. I went all the way back. And I remember I had set the phone down. I said, listen, I could take a picture or video or anything and y'all would hate on it. I did that <laughs> research and they did it. Right. I took a picture of a jug because I'm working out. Yeah. <laughs> Get what they say. What they hit you with? Wow, he got the snap on water bottle. He ain't even got the jug. Uh, he ain't uh, even got the spin on. Oh my God. Oh, what's he what's going on with him? I was like, hold on, it's a difference. I, I thought it was water. Like, nigga, hold on, girl. Uh, then, then we go to this right here. We go to this right here. We go to, I said, look, I, I said, hey, y'all are tripping me out right now. I said, I can actually take a picture or video or anything. And y'all would hate on it. Like y'all are really like y'all official, y'all really like officially know y'all haters. The <laughs> motherfucker were like, bruh, I know it's a part where the cloud, where the sky just blue. Why you got the clouds in it? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they find any reason. <laughs> I said, you know what? I said, you know what? Y'all gonna hate about anything. Oh. So I might as well just. In my mind and in my heart and in my everything, all of me, it just be me and just love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. If y'all don't love it, it's cool, my nigga, because y'all gonna have a problem with anything I do. I can shit on a motherfucking toilet seat where the world say that's where you're supposed to put it at. And guess what? Y'all gonna be like, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, it's something. You could have found somewhere nigga, else. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You, you were sitting the wrong way when you did it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's all going to be something, nigga. Nigga, Jay-Z still get it. Nigga, you be like, this nigga the best rapper in the world and cut, man. He, they like, why he rapped that long? They going like, to find a reason. Oh, seven minutes? You like, seven minutes? You like, you like, like, I listened to it and I loved it. Like, I was, just, I was waiting on a nigga to rap with some sense. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. you didn't want a nigga to rap with sense? You want, <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's like, you can't oh. give in to this shit. Like, it's like. I would never be cool with listening to nothing. Oh yeah, no. What they say? What's the uh, old adage? Misery loves company. Oh, and they gonna they gonna look for company. Yeah, bro. I would, look never, for company. I would never sit there and listen to a song that got nothing on it. <laughs> yeah, That's facts. So you mentioned that. I want to ask, what is your motivation behind your weight loss journey? Like, what is your personal motivation? I want to be here for my kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I got asthma real bad, and I, I know. I'm a, a guilty person when it comes to smoking. I can't stop, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes mm-hmm. I can do it for God. Yeah. But uh majority of the time I can't I can't stop smoking marijuana. <laughs> yeah, I got you can't stop um, it just called me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, I, <laughs> and I'm like a, you know, we, you know, I'm a human, like I said, I make a lot of bad decisions. So it's like <laughs> I want to start there with my my decision making. I want to start mind, body, and soul. So I started with my mind. To say like, yo, like something need to happen. You need you need to redirect this shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Dead. I was almost three hundred pounds. You know what I'm saying? Oh so, damn. So and you know people look at me. They be like, nah, nah. You was nah. I was like, nah. All that you thought was muscle was just fat. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was nigga. I couldn't even put on my socks. I was like, <laughs> I can't bend. I was heavy, nigga. Yeah, I was telling Bam. I was like, hey, cuz, like, hey, where that breathing machine at, cuz? Like, <laughs> Nigga, I, I was really fucked up, you know. Yeah, what I'm nah, that's real. At a certain point, and and I used to be, 
And I get mad now because I'm looking at her. I was like, cause you told me I was good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, oh, they tell you they love, ooh, I love that. Yeah, you know, ooh. no, no. I love- hey, don't you hate when you when, when a nigga see you after you slim down, like, damn, man, you looking good. You look, boy, you was looking crazy back then. You be like, yeah, damn, you ain't like, telling, why the fuck you ain't? <laughs> no, 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 but I'm gonna tell you, like, real motherfuckers though, like, I'm gonna tell you that the realest motherfuckers is a motherfucker that really don't know you, but think they know you. So a motherfucker walked past me. They, they, were, I had a few, a few of them motherfuckers. Motherfucker be like, "Fat boy, what's up, boy?" Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. like, oh shit, I'm insecure with my shit. I'm like, who fat, bro? Who, who you get big? Like, hey, hey, brother, my let's real quick, bro. <laughs> hey, let just, I just have a quick conversation real quick, bro. I just need a kind. I'm cool, bro. I'm cool straight. <laughs> No, I'm no. straight, bro. I don't even do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. and, 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 but then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Once you get it get it together and you just be honest with yourself, you know what I'm saying? You just you look at it, you be like, man, nigga, I need to be here with my kids, man. I want to feel better. It's all about feeling better. It's all about being happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you fat, and that's anybody out there, if you fat and you don't want to be that, then you need to do something to not be that. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't blame the world. Don't blame the world for looking at you crazy. Blame yourself for being looking like you look crazy. Like I don't nobody has control of that shit. It's like a self shit. Like everything that you can be like, like um, you can have some insecurities of, like that's self shit, cuz like that's all self shit. Like, like I got insecurities, but that shit just in me. Like that's what I ever I got going on. These like y'all motherfuckers could never even see it unless I display it. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to be li- like literally if I'm fat, I had to be walking. And the motherfucker be like, yo, hey, bro, like, <laughs> I don't know what you thinking you is right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got some motherfuckers out here, bro, that don't know what they is, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got some real. ugly motherfuckers don't know they ugly. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got fat motherfuckers don't know they fat. You know what I'm saying? You got skinny motherfuckers don't know they skinny. Yeah. You got gorgeous motherfuckers that don't even know they're beautiful, my nigga. Like, it's, it's, this shit is crazy. For real. What is the a workout in the gym that you was like, this shit is. I don't want to do this shit no more. I'm just. I'm just tired of this shit. Uh, it was like uh doing the the, the monkey bars, right? Like oh. when I was a young nigga, I used to just walk them bitches like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Now it's not like that. You know what right. I mean? Now that walk, <laughs> nigga be like, <laughs> and then you be like, hey, bro, come on, bro, you can get the other side. You get to do that. <laughs> not in front of these folk, bro, hey, brother. <laughs> And, and like I went from that to like, I can do them all, all of them, right? Mm-hmm. But at first, it's like you gotta get over that that fact that I'm a man and I can't do it. Right. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I'm a man mm-hmm. and I can't do it. That's in the gym. Like once once a man or a woman go in there and be like, I'm a whole grown person or I'm a person that got all my muscles and I can't do this shit. Why? Right. You know what I'm saying? Then you you look around and you see other motherfuckers and if you you know, you fellowship with people, they'll tell you that they didn't start there neither. You know what I'm saying? Nobody starts healthy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody starts unhealthy because we was raised like that. You know what I'm saying? And my whole inspiration, bro, is that when I I started on the elliptical. Yeah. Doing this shit, doing that little run. Cause I was like I said, I was that shit is a nightmare. Pounds. And that was even painful, you know what I'm saying? It was, I had to put on that whole little bag thing, and yeah, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I was almost 300 pounds and it showed, and it felt like it, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to be here for my daughter, and I started there, because I ain't had number one kid then. And then I, when I had my other kids, I was like, ah. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? You right. gotta be here. Cause you hear the stories in the gym, like people are healthy, they, they look good on the outside, but they don't look, they they dying because something happened on the inside they weren't taken care of. But that's what I went. I went like, mm-hmm. let me eat right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me do my 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 prayer. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's all mind, body, and soul. Mm-hmm. And spirit. You know what I'm saying? With me. You know what I'm saying? Like I go for the the thought first. The thought, they acknowledge that I'm fucked up and that I need to get right and I'm finna get right. <laughs> All three of them gotta come in one and then I go to the gym. I need to go to the gym. I need to, after the gym, everybody go to the gym. You know what I'm saying, at some point. But then it's like, you eating wrong. You need to 
you need to fuel yourself with the right things because everybody don't know like they wonder why they like after they eat they sluggish because you ain't supposed to be eating that mm. you can be eating a lot of shit you can eat a whole bunch of shit but that's supposed to be for your blood mm. that's supposed to be for your for you but you you don't even go to the the shit to even find out your blood type to even find out what your blood type take take in like we fucked up bro like because nobody ever told us we supposed to do that you know what i'm saying like we we was good at first because we was in another region of the world yeah but now that we're here we got to go off you know what we're doing what what is something after you know you started seeing significant like weight loss what is something that was hard for you that became easier running yes nigga. running like I love to run now. You love to run? I love to run. Like at first it was the elliptical, then it became a the treadmill. Then when my gym moved, which is the Loft Atlanta, the Loft Atlanta Athletics Atlanta, uh, run by Mr. Two Weeks and Miss Two Weeks. Um and some other people I don't I don't, don't want to miss do their name. But um now I just started like running loosely. Just loosely, like I'm like we had this floor that's about the size of this apartment right here, and I run that bitch till I get to five miles every day. You Damn. know what I'm saying? Every day. I'm talking about the actual trainers in there. Be like, yeah. but that's a different mindset, bro. Yeah, I that's crazy. Do that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I go outside, but I be locking in. You know what I'm saying? I lock in, and I have a vision in my mind of where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like how I want to look, how I want to feel. And I and I, I have my music playing that I don't record it. And it's, it's like a whole thing, bro. It's different. The Shade Room recently posted like all your hits. Yeah, yeah. And you reshared that. Yeah. How does that feel as far as, you know, time tells everything. It's like to be able to say, man, like for them to post hit after hit after hit and just be I able to see. Lie, bro. I've been around people like for a long time now, for a little minute, for like 10, like a long, a lot of years, bro, that, years. that devalued me. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't even look at that, that I did all that. Wow. I didn't even notice that I did all that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That didn't, that didn't value me as that. You know what I'm saying? Like even your family sometimes can kind of, your friends, everybody. Not make you feel you. like, Nigga, you a legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they around you. They they feel like shit. I'm shit, I, Yeah. You you scrap, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But when you see other people do it and they be like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I I, I applaud Shay Room because they also they be on some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Like, they take a moment out of time to say, yeah. let's just applaud no, a situation like, right like, now. I, I, I really, I really fuck with that. I really yeah, fuck with yeah. that because we can always go down the list of what motherfuckers do wrong, but we need to go around the list because they do a lot of that too. They, yeah, do a lot yeah, of, yeah. they do a lot of positive shit too, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But we don't see that because we so hooked on the negativity, but I appreciate that shit, man. Like I, I looked at that and I was like, damn, I have done a lot of shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, even when I, when me and my my Brody, true, we looked at the, the versus shit, like it like, you know, songs I done did with people and songs I did by myself, like, it's like 22, 25. Hey. Like, we, we can go. You know hey, what I'm saying? Man. We can go like a boxing match. Nigga, like, nah, for real. For real. Yeah. For real. Now, one thing you did in our last interview, um, you know, we've had some characters uh, such as Charleston White, Jaguar Wright. Uh, oh, Y'all did get Charleston White. We did get Charleston White. Yeah, and you yeah. actually, you had a profound thing to where, you know, we was asking you about the him and T.I. And then you said something in that to where a lot of people gravitated towards to where, all he's doing is holding up a mirror yeah, it's all. and turning him back it's on it's ourselves. All. That's all. And that came from a real place where people yeah. felt that like, damn, yeah. you are right. I, I, feel, should, I feel like he do too much now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to say, he, should we do more of that? Charleston White do too much now, but we I feel like him and Kanye, they, they held up a mirror of us, you know what I'm right. saying? And I, and I feel like we should do more than everybody. We should, we should, I mean, it ain't nothing but accountability. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but like, when, when Farrakhan say, hey, we don't want y'all to dictate how we punish our people, let us do it. You know what I'm saying? And we always do it. We always do it. R. Kelly is only in jail because black people put him in jail. No, for there real. was no white people involved. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There was no white people there. I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? It was black people. Y'all, we put him in jail because we didn't like what he did and we didn't like how much money he made doing it. 
You know what I'm saying? You did, you was on some shitty shit, some bullshit, and you was making money off this shit, and we gave it to you. We want our money back. We can't get it. We can't get our time back. But guess what we're gonna do? We done with you. You gotta go. Yeah. And we always do that to our people. We don't, we don't, hey, there's not, hey, bro, there's not one person, bro, that done been gone. And we ain't talking about the old, old days. We talking about when they gave us rights. When they gave us rights, <laughs> black people start putting their own people away. You feel what I'm saying? And they ain't give, and you look at the white people, the motherfuckers, they be like, shit, if I, we can save a motherfucker, we'll save them. You feel what I'm saying? If we can save a motherfucker, we'll save them. We right. got enough of us. You know what I'm saying? But us, we like, if you make more money than us, you should be in jail. You're gay. You're in the Illuminati. Yeah, it's something wrong there. You be like, cuz, like, I just can't, I can't work for my shit and, and be good. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Cause I see a lot of my other motherfuckers work that is not famous that have worked for their shit and y'all don't say that about them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't say that about them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all say that about famous motherfuckers. Right. I'm so tired of hearing the shit about Will Smith, my nigga. Like, I'm like, hey, bro, and Jay Z and all that shit, Diddy and all. I'm like, cuz, listen, bro, I done been around all these niggas and I ain't never seen none of that shit, bro. None of it. It's just because it's a lot of uh, motherfuckers that hate in the world and don't understand the other side of it. Why do you think so many black people actually believe in those conspiracy theories? They believe because they never been there. It's cool. It's easy to believe some dumb ass shit if you never been there. If you never been rich, you never been famous, it's easy for you. And, and even though because of Instagram and social media, there's not a person on the earth that's not famous right now. Nah, for real. There's not a one person that's not famous. If you got 10 people that know you, you're a famous motherfucker. Nah, to me. for real. To me. I mean, that's how, I mean, because when I was growing up, I ain't no more than five motherfuckers. Nah, for real. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't no number five motherfuckers. You feel me? Right. And just them five knew me. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, like, for you know, real. Just like, you know what I'm saying? But now there's not one person on this earth. You're famous. You're famous. You're, she's famous. She's famous. Everybody's famous. Because everybody got their group of people that like them and know them. Nah, for real. Now, I got I to gotta ask, man. It's a lot going on in Atlanta right now, man. Yeah. Um, man, 21 Savage, right? Mm -hmm. I always look at him as somebody who, when he speaks, He's, he says, you know, you just see him wait. act. The whole way. He, yeah, but he always, you never see him get out of character. Yeah. So when you see him get out of character on a clubhouse yeah. and then speak, you know, as he spoke, where he's kind of basically saying, you know, don't play with us. You know, yeah. something going to happen. We, yeah. You know, I mean, but like, how do, what do you think that is? Because it's like, we've never seen him get human. to that point. He a human. Yeah. He a whole human. Everybody like, you know what I'm saying, dodge the bullet until you get hit. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, when you get hit with that one that just move you the wrong way, you gon' you gon' I mean, if you somebody that stand on your shit, you gonna stand on it. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I I feel like I was that what I'm saying, I was one of them tight niggas when I was that that age. You know, I was like, nigga, hey, look, bro, hey, hey man, look, hey bro, look. Let's not even do that. Let's just meet up somewhere, bro. Let, let you know, let's get it done. You know what I'm saying? Let's not even yeah. we ain't gotta do all that. Let's get it done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like real quick, like, you know what I'm saying? And you know, sometimes you got to remind people of what's going on. Like, you, do you know where you know me from? Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you know how you know me? Do right. You, do you remember the stuff you heard about me? Like, quit playing, bro. Like, quit playing. Like, like some of that shit real, nigga. Like, quit playing. What is it in us that where it's like, you know, we, we all know allegedly or what his password, but like when nigga, when a nigga talk about how he stepped on some shit, they say that shit with so much pride. You know what I'm saying? What is it about us, bro, to where we just say shit like that with so much pride, bro? I mean, it just come back from when we were created. Black man. You know what I'm saying? The black When the black man was created, we always had pride. That's why they broke it. You know what I'm saying? They broke. They had to break that first. Wow. Let's break that pride. Let's break all this stand-up shit. All this, he want to stand up on us and look down on us like he, nah, bro, like we've we been that. You know what I'm saying? We've been like that. It's just we don't know when and how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Now yeah. it's just going off feeling. Pride is not a feeling. Pride is like something like, you be like, I've done all this in my life and I, 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 I'm I, proud of I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. proud of what I've done in my life. I'm proud of what I've, what the, the accomplishments, even the, 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 <clears throat> the bad shit, I'm proud of it. Like I'm just proud of who I am. That's pride. Yeah. The other shit is ego. The other shit is like, Man, I done been here long as fuck, but I been doing this shit, but I don't mm. got down, but I look, but I got down. Ain't said nothing about 
what you have done to get to where you at, but I've been here for a long time. Ain't nobody coming in here to that. Hey man, listen, life goes on, my nigga. Mm. Motherfuckers come, motherfuckers are born every day, nigga. And guess what? Then the motherfucker that were born in 10 years, nigga, might be that motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? It don't even matter. That's real. Now I got you speaking of pride and you know, just being proud. Of, you said something in our last interview, which I didn't think was a big thing when you said it, mm -hmm. but the way the world takes it, the way the fans take it, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. But we talked about Gucci Man, yeah. and you had mentioned that, hey, he's not from Atlanta, which of course he had moved to Atlanta and you know, things of that yeah. nature. But everyone like hone in on that. Like, do you have to be born in a spot to say you from a spot? And how much pride do ATL or Atlanteans yeah. have being born in Atlanta versus those who might have come from elsewhere? I'm gonna put it like this. You didn't even say it on no hating shit either. Yeah, like, like, yeah, no, no, no. I never, I never hate on Gucci. Yeah. Gucci, me and me and Gucci, we don't had all the time, but me and Gucci all, always been cool though, for real. Like, I, 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 I even think that his whole journey was inspirational and motivational to all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole body. Uh, transformation, the whole mind process, mindset that he's on, and all that, like that, man, that 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 took me so it inspired me. You know what I'm saying? I looked at that nigga, I was like, nigga, listen, and I ain't talking about N I G G E R. I'm talking about N I G G A, nigga. Like you, hey, bro, I fuck with you for that. You know what I'm saying? But in Atlanta, and and anybody can, you know, if anybody, y'all just do the history and just look. You've never seen an Atlanta person leave there and move somewhere else. Like how New Orleans people, they you Lil Wayne, everybody moved to Miami. I don't know what it was for, or if it was Katrina or whatever that, but I don't know if Master P, you know, he moved to LA and all that. But uh Outcast is still in Atlanta. Goody Mob is still in Atlanta. All the people that was for them, they still in Atlanta. TI, Tiny, they still in Atlanta, Candy. I mean, we can keep going. I've never seen not one motherfucker that's a celebrity leave from Atlanta that was born and raised there. Never why, seen that. Why, why, why do you think that is? That that shit is something else. That the Atlanta to to me, that shit is like, oh man, it's unexplainable. Man, y'all Waffle House is so professional. It's just <laughs> it, the Waffle House no, 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 work takes so much listen, pride. Listen. No. That that that, that Not for real. shit in the Waffle House been going on for years, nigga. Yeah. That shit is dumb. That shit is that yeah, we've been fighting in the Waffle House since I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that shit is normal to us. You know what I'm saying? So to Instagram, that shit new because right. everybody get to see shit now. But that shit been going on like no, shit. Nah, but I I was saying when I went to Atlanta, I went to the Waffle House and like there was not a. Uh, yeah, the flash screen on the wall. The it depends on what Waffle House you went to, what part of the state you went to. Oh, okay. We was downtown. Y'all was downtown? Yeah. What part of downtown y'all had flat screens in there? <laughs> <laughs> Please, tell Please tell me. Cause you know niggas ready to take them bitches right now. Like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm talking about these niggas, soon y'all put that shit out, niggas be like, they got flat screen downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nigga, like, what? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, you know, like, the Waffle House is like a, a monument, but it's like, it's 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 a dangerous spot. Like, it, it, like, it ain't like, oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a place like we come here, and y'all, and we like, I'm finna go, you be like, uh. Man, yeah, it, I mean, be careful, nigga. It was, bro, <laughs> it was one comedian, I forget brother brother name, but he was so funny, he say, he say for the uh, the uh, the interview, he's like, you know how to slap box? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah for real. If you go out and slap box, we'll put you on the night shift. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, like, like in Atlanta, bro, like that how a nigga try you, though. That how a nigga try you in Atlanta, nigga get befriend you and then want to wrestle with you or slap box with you to see if you. And I yeah. tell nigga, I be like, cuz that is not how you. This <laughs> is not how we go. Cuz, <laughs> like, I'm in a whole different way when I'm fighting for my, my dignity and my manhood. Man, I'm a whole man. Other, right, right. I got a whole different strength about me. Yeah. Like, they don't even react. I don't react the same way. Nigga, like, man, fighting in a Waffle House, Waffle House just seems so dangerous, nigga. The grill, I mean, it just, it seems dangerous. <laughs> like, nigga, the fuck is, it's so close quarters. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, Vikings. You the, just think of it, bro. Like, you in the country, nigga. Like, we already, they already say we can carry guns that is concealed <laughs> and unconcealed. Yeah. You can carry a big gun, little gun, however you want to do it. You can just walk around Atlanta with that shit, however you want. We can't even touch you about it. Man. 
What the fuck you gonna think they gonna do in the Waffle House? Nigga? <laughs> for real. A, a fight happening. Nigga, nigga, you gonna get your head bashed nigga, <laughs> for real. with a to the omelet, death. Nigga, <laughs> right, right, with an omelet. With a fucking pan, nigga, with, <laughs> yeah. the, with the skillet, nigga, like sizzling. Nigga, like, nigga, nigga, it's, whole, it's a whole routine now. Nigga, just, nigga, I know it's gonna happen. I know we're gonna fight tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a whole routine. Yeah. So you go outside the city, like, see, I can't even stay, like, you feel me, in the city, like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I did that my whole life. I fought niggas and shot at niggas, shot, got shot at. Like, I'm, man, stabbed, all kind of, yeah, I'm man. cool, nigga. I be like this. And he be like, bro, come stay in the city, bro. Like, hey, man, come. I be like, hey, relax. Yeah, yeah. I done people in the trip. Yeah. Relax. I'm not yeah. doing none of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not a, yeah. Nope. So, <laughs> man, let's go and take it there, man. I got to ask, and uh, I want you to just get your thoughts on this. And I'm going to phrase in a way, of course, you know, see what your thoughts are. When you see a situation like Gunna, and uh, Takashi had bra- raised up the fact that, uh, man, y'all gave me so much hell. Mm-hmm. And then Gunna, of course, is out off of a plea deal. Right. And I see that a lot of rappers are more quiet than what they were with the Takashi situation while Gunna kind of, you know, whatever, again, that's situ- that's that. what hasn't played out yet. I don't see that, though. Okay, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, because that's real, what was... The real motherfuckers that done took plea deals and shit, they know better, you know what I'm saying? Like, people that done took, because I've never seen a plea deal where we had to have this whole thing before I say... It- I do, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like, <laughs> like all that yes ma'am yes. shit and all that, I've never seen that before in my life, you know Man. what I'm saying? But that it has happened because it's there. It's real. It's a real thing. It's a thing. We don't know it, but it's a thing. And um, I don't. I, maybe he wasn't. Um, maybe he wasn't educated on it enough to know what he was doing, or the other people were educated enough. But to me, the way I grew up. Just the way I grew up. I don't know really what it is. I don't know if he really, like, I don't know if he. Yeah, the intricate details of what's going on. All right, look. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, so look. He about to jack it up. <laughs> so, so, like, the way that the prosecutor worded it threw me off. Ah. That's the only thing that threw me off. And when he said, yes, ma'am, it threw me off. Because she say, is this your statement? and your acknowledgement that YSL is a gang and that you know that they have done criminal activities to further, you know, help the gang. And when he said, yes, ma'am, that was just it for me. <laughs> that was just it. I mean, I mean, that's just me coming from where I'm from, the, eight, the era I come from. I don't know if they changed the dictionary. <laughs> Or if they changed the meaning of snitching, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe they have. I don't know. Maybe, I, you know, maybe him and Thug got some shit going on the world. Thug was like, hey, bro, do this so you can help me get out. I don't think Wait, hold on, listen. Yeah. Which I don't think that can help him get out saying, like, everything that you're fighting against is what I'm saying it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, you're saying it's not a gang. I'm saying it's a gang. I don't know how you're going to get off like that. I don't know. Like, it... The only, the only reason that everybody's quiet right now because they want to wait until they see what Thug talking about. Because a man is, a man, cause Thug is a, a gangster gangster man man. You know what I'm saying? That's my little homie. I, I, I fuck with bro. Like he, I'm me and him from the same hood. We from Cleveland Avenue. I call it Cleveland because where I come from. But his era is bleeding. But that's that's the little homie. I guess what uh, kind of started me off right. Is there are other members of YSL that are coming out that saying that are speaking against Gunner and I and I was under the assumption that all the members of YSL went to jail, but we have n- other members that are coming out saying. So who who is really in YSL? Because I thought everybody in YSL went to jail. But you gotta think like YSL is whatever they say it is. You know, what I'm right? Saying? You know, whoever's in YSL is in YSL. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, gang, gang. Listen, I don't, I don't really know who's in YSL, but all I know is it's a lot of people, uh, like what we used to say, turn state. You know what I'm right. saying? Like when I, my era is turn state. Turn state mean you say yes, ma'am, to everything they say. Right. 
which I've never seen that happen. I've never seen them record somebody. You know, that's that's the DA. Yeah. This, this is not some like I, I'm telling you, I I man, look, I figured it out. I watched the shit. I'm like, hold on. Ain't man, this is a a big case right here. Ain't nobody, right. ain't no DA letting nobody come in with no phone, no camera, none of that. They already said they ain't want no cam. Screw me, they ain't want no cameras involved. So when you got somebody sitting right like this, <laughs> just, like, just getting what they want, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, the DA was involved. You feel me? Like they wanted that to be seen. Because guess what? All of them were seen like that. It was not one person that didn't, I don't know how to say this. I don't know if it's dry snitching or telling they truth for, when I was in my era, <laughs> well, I came from. it was called snitching. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I, it's just like, if you open your mouth, you snitching. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you say anything, you're snitching. Why is it? Why? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Why is it that whenever a black man cooperates with the police in any shape, form, or fashion, you're snitching? Only, and, if, he's, only, only if he portrays himself to be gangster, though. Okay. Only, only person that, that is called a snitch is a person that betray himself to be a part of that life, gangster. You, you, you out here. You, you like when you see somebody else, you telling people like, yeah, this is me. I'm, you, you know, you fl- you doing everything a part of that life. But then when it come down to that end part of the life, you wanna, you wanna back up. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Come on, come back to the middle of the floor. You feel mm-hmm. me? I guess the middle the, of the floor. I guess it's like uh, when we going back to even the jury situation. It's like you gotta inform the police to even get the claim to get your insurance money. Like the police has to have to be notified. You have to cooperate on some level to get your money for your purchase. Like where do when, when do the law when does law enforcement get to work for us? Who is us? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Who is the gangsters? Who is not the gangsters? If you're a regular dude, you have a regular job every day, and you're not claiming to be a gangster or a drug dealer or a street guy. Anybody that's in the street. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about the the barbers, the we're not talking about people with legitimate jobs here. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about people that don't have legitimate jobs. We're talking about people that rob people, kill people, uh, fight all the time. We're talking about people that's deeply in the street. And it's more shit than that that I could tell you, but it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're one of them type people, like you don't get to you don't get to run to the police because that's your life. Right. That's your life, my nigga. That's your fucking life. I ain't gonna even lie to you. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I got robbed like three weeks ago. Nobody's ever heard about it. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nobody's ever heard about it. Remember the other rings I had and all that mm-hmm. shit? That shit is gone. You know what I'm saying? I got robbed with a gun. You know what I'm saying? Nigga busted at me and everything because I, I was kind of tipsy and I, I was, when a nigga got there and snapped me, I was, I was trying to fight the nigga. <laughs> it was some right. other shit. <laughs> Listen. Listen. He, he said no one ain't even heard about it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Listen. Listen. He, 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 he didn't even want to talk about it now. <laughs> Listen. 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 But guess what? There was no police call. Yeah. There was none. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to fix my own shit, my own windows, and all that shit. Everything that happened. I got to get my own jewelry back. Even if something ever happened to them. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the police. I didn't call the police. I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's not what you do when you, you know what I'm saying? When you claim certain things and you in that, 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 you know, that dysfunction of the world, that's a dysfunction. Now, if you in that dysfunction, then you don't even know that you're in a dysfunction, so you don't call the police. You don't even know to call the police. You don't even want to be a part of that, that part. Because guess what? When the police come for you, they come looking at you, they gonna come, they looking at your shit, they like, who is you, nigga? Hold on. Right. Like, let's talk to this nigga. Like, I ain't man. We've been looking for you, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I ain't on none of that shit, bro. Like, I'm, I'm really like, when, when you, when you know, like, when you from the street, bro. Like, you will always go by that code, bro, until you like all the way up out of that bitch. Now, one of the um, members of YSL, he uh, took a plea deal. For thirty years, probation, thirty-one years probation, yeah. at forty years old. Mm-hmm. 
What makes a man take 30 years probation at 40? Because he know he wasn't supposed to be a part of that shit. He know he old as fuck. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? That nigga doing like, life now. Where he you got going life. with these kids? Cause, like, got life. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck is going on? Nah, right for now? real. You know what I'm like, nah, for you real. You know, but 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 on another note, on another note though, on on the real note, you know what I'm saying? You know, once you get a certain age and you ain't did, you ain't met certain accomplishments that you wanted to have. Like you start surrounding yourself with with people that you ain't trying to surround, but you you just trying to get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, I mean. You really gotta look in the mirror, cause we all we all us, right? You know what I'm saying? We all gotta look in the mirror and be like, we all was dealt that same card, right? This shit's crazy. Like we all was dealt that that same fuck you black motherfucker card, that same fuck you colored motherfucker part. Like even if you're not black, you're just Mexican, or you 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 not that no Italian is white. Um, anything other than white they have, you know, kind of put their claws in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you that, man, you got to just kind of figure it out, man. Be like, man, look, I know they at me. They at us. So what I'm going to do to not be in that boat? Because it's a boat. Because you got other motherfuckers that's, we all sitting here. We out. We free. We cool. We ain't, we ain't doing that shit. So it's a boat. Full of the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's different motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I look at motherfuckers. You got to look at motherfuckers sometimes when they get killed by the police. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like what they were doing. That's why motherfuckers be mad. Like as niggas, we be mad. We be like, nah, man, we ain't asking that shit. They shouldn't have did that shit. But you got to ask yourself, because we all done been in a situation where we wanted to use our rights. But it was the wrong time to use it. Because you just got through smoking the whole thing. Yeah. Shout to smell that shit. Nah, for real. Let Cud have his shit. He caught you. Let Cud have his shit. No, we don't want to go. But when you look at real thera motherfuckers, like the mafia and shit like that, you know what them folks told them? The real thera, not the motherfucker that snitched, but the real motherfucker, they like, hey, you do your job, I do my job. You do your job, if you catch me, I'm going, hey, I'm whatever you want to do. I'm going like this. Hey, you can take me. You did your job. But all they got down, bro, like, what are you doing? Yeah. We, you at a traffic stop. Nigga, you can probably beat that. You ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to do all that. But niggas know they at the end of their shit. Some niggas be at the end of their shit, bro. Like, and they, don't, they ain't trying to hear none of that shit. But we black and we ain't trying to hear it neither. You know what I'm saying? We, it, it, it shit be, it be crazy, bro. Like, it, it, it crazy to, to try to help motherfuckers. And, and we go do marches and shit and we do all this shit when a motherfucker were wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's real. I, me honestly, I feel like I would still do it. I would still do it even if a motherfucker wrong, but at least let me know. Let me know the whole story before I get out there, bro. Even if you're wrong, I'm gonna fight for you. But let me know the whole thing, my nigga, for real, because the, them, them white folk, they know about they shit. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck if the motherfucker wrong or not. Nigga be like, hey, them, them white folk be like, hey, hey man, listen. <clears throat> How I gonna go down in the end? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we might need that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, fuck we talking about? Like, what, what, what are we saying right now? You know, we're gonna lock this motherfucker up. This motherfucker just knocked out about 10. Like, what are we doing? Are we gonna give him? No, we know we gotta give him insane. Cause we can have a, uh, we can get him out still. Like, we can get him out later. You know what I'm saying? His mental was off. You know what I'm saying? But with us, ain't no mental. They find all kind of way to say that we was okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we just gotta find out how we gonna do shit. You wanna knock some people off, bro? And I ain't telling nobody to knock nobody off. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, bro, y'all motherfuckers ain't thinking all this shit through. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like motherfuckers be robbing motherfuckers. Just rob them. Right. <laughs> right. That's it. You know what yeah. I mean? You just, niggas is holding up their arm. They like, they, ah, take it, take it. Just you ain't, they put your gun up, you know? <laughs> And snatch that, snatch whatever you got, and get the fuck on. Coming up with the ski mask, y'all niggas is y'all y'all lazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to come in there without the ski mask that make you want to kill a nigga. Nah, be smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you way to stay out of jail and keep him killing the motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying for real? So you you ever do any jail time? Huh? You ever do any jail time? 
Have you been to jail? Not prison. Never been. Okay, to but jail. Yeah, jail and boot camp. Yeah. I'm just curious your thoughts when I see a uh, young thug. Yeah. And I, you know, they just kind of jammed them up for uh, Percocet or. Well, they didn't. They, they didn't jam them up. They, 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 they still trying to figure. They still out. trying to figure out what that was. Yeah. Um, oh no, they trying to figure out what's what did he a, did he knowledgeably know that he was finna accept that? Right. Yeah. Is there any reason do you feel that? You know, while you're standing trial, that some type of transaction should and will go down in that scenario. Because I'm like, it doesn't, to it me, it, do, down, it doesn't it make sense. It shouldn't go down in the courtroom. Yeah, it, it does. It should have went down way Yeah, that's wild. Like, yeah, it's like, we, 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 I'm sure they was attached to each other, like, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, hey, like, brother, I'll throw it there. Throw that, man. Throw it, like, throw it against the wall. Hey, nigga. Hey, throw that shit on the ground right there, bro. I'm just going to fall. Yeah, they got my trip. I'm just going to fall. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> for real, <laughs> for real, for real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but, but you gotta think though. I'm gonna be honest with you, like, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you don't know. I mean, like I said, we don't know niggas. We don't know the way nigga think. We don't know if Cub was just. Cause I mean, if you look at the whole thing, Thug never looked back at him. Yes. Cuz it came up on his own. It was like, hey, Cuz, like, Cuz, just like, all right, shit, huh? shit, you know, I don't know, nigga, they gave it to me, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like, we all, I mean, when we look at shit like that, cause I looked at that shit, I was like, we gotta kind of, you know, we gotta Red wait. Red flag on the plane. We just got, yeah, that nigga got line, though. Plane, but we gotta wait. Yeah, we gotta wait. That nigga's gotta wait. He's, he's not gonna line. say nothing until oh, everything is over with. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, that's no. all, bro. Like, you know, like, even with the snitching, people being like, you're trying to put gay shit on people, you're trying to put uh, disease on people, you're trying to put anything on somebody, bro. Like, you gotta really, like, wait to see the outcome, bro, before you say anything. For real. Now, are we moving the goalposts for Gunner, man? Because when 6ix9ine got out, they was on his ass. But with Gunner, uh, it's like nobody saying shit, really. I put it like this. I put. I, I. I feel as if. I feel as if. They didn't really do nothing to six nine. No, that that man is still alive. Cause it's still alive. The real shit that happened to the people that do what he did. He didn't get none of that. So I feel like as a, as a black man, I don't want none of my little, little homies dead. I don't want none of the little guys dead. But you can't talk that hard shit. You can't talk that loyal shit. Like it's, it's like we gotta, you just gotta be who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, you gotta be who you are. Like if that's who you are, you snitched on somebody, you snitched on the whole camp, be like, shit, bro, I ain't like, shit, I ain't finna go down for that. You know what I'm saying? Like a hit boy, but I ain't finna go down for that. Mm-hmm. Man, don't go down for it. You know I, and, just be, and still stand taller and be like, I would be if I was going. I'd be like, boy, y'all see y'all, boy, y'all just let that boy sit down, out, boy, y'all, boy, y'all, y'all. <laughs> that boy made money and everything when he got out. You know what I'm saying, boy? Y'all better. I feel like black folks should support him. You know what I'm no, saying? I, should support him. If you was his fan before, you should be his fan after. I think he, he's still the same person. You're just finding out, like the extra shit. I really, I really just think Six Nine expects too much from the black community. Like, bro, we we barely fuck with our own. You just you like what you want us. You ain't put out no jam. We fickle no, anyway. No, 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 listen, listen. Black people fuck with anybody except for black people. Yeah. So that's, I mean, he probably got it right. <laughs> he probably got it right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a difference between a black snitch and a Mexican snitch and a white snitch is a difference. I just told you, we hold all our people accountable for everything they do. They can, they can slip and fall by mistake. And what we're going to do, we're going to laugh. We're going to make it their whole life. Bro, remember we you got down, you be like, I did that shit, that shit happened eight years ago, nigga. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but because but because you elevated, they want to remind you where you was at. You be like, bro, nobody, no other race is doing that to me. Everybody's just like, <laughs> they let me they really pay me because I failed, bro. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're the only one trying to make me feel like I'm like, yeah. just like, just like PP game, like, just like in my world, right? I had somebody tell me that, oh, you, 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 you messy, you bitchy, you on TV arguing with women and shit like that. I'm like, there's nothing you can tell me about that shit. <laughs> there's nothing you can tell me about uh, getting a check. I don't give a fuck. I'll be whatever you say I am. You feel what I'm saying? I could be trash. You say I'm trash? I'm gonna be trash. Guess what I done did for them last, them, all them years I've been on there? I've been taking care of my, my daughter. 
I've been taking care of my mama. I've been taking care of my daughter mama. I've been taking care of the, the ex-wife. I've been taking care of everybody. Everybody been, everybody good. I ain't got to even give nobody. Now I just sit back and just look at people and be like, oh, they have gone on with their life. People that not even, I'm not even connected to no more. I didn't help them. I didn't help them be able to have a job, had to be on movies, be able to be on shit. Like you just, cause you were part of my life. You came on that show with me. Guess what? You did. And they can say whatever they want about that show. Would you they ever can say, hold on, look, they yeah. can say whatever they want. This is just me putting it out there. Yeah. They can say whatever they want about that show. But that show done created great black women. That shit then blew black women to a whole, whole other different scenario. To where black women, because that's the only reason we're in this scenario right now where black women are looking at black men like, oh, no, we straight. That's because of that show. Because you can go look at it, and I don't give a fuck what show you look at, that's still the number one show. I don't no, give a fuck what you look at. Straight up. Any network. Right. They still trying to catch up to that show. Right. Who's a part of it? Screw up. No, no, no. I ain't even talking oh, about me. Oh, you're talking about all the black Who's women? Who's a part of it? A lot of them. Jocelyn. Black people. Black people. Yep. The same people that created shit long time ago and they've been chipping off trying to just keep that shit going. Everything that's been created, I don't say everything, but a lot of shit that done been created that we're driving has been us. Straight up. We don't even know it. Because years go by and centuries go by and nobody reminds the other black motherfucker that we did the shit. Straight up. So a motherfucker can come in and be like, I'm going to recreate that shit and say I did it. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's why I say I don't care what they say about the show because a lot of motherfuckers be like, oh, y'all on there acting like... I'm like, nigga, you act like that every day in your house, nigga. You act like that every day in your house, in your car, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you the mirror, nigga. I'm just giving you the I'm real. giving you the fucking mirror. You know Straight what I'm up. saying? I'm, I'm letting you know, nigga, guess what? And guess what? By the time that bitch end, me and the bitch kissing. Yeah. Me and the bitch, we good. Yeah. Me and the bitch got kids. Um, uh, something going on. Screw, screw the French, my French. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. me and the woman that I'm with, like, it, it's, it, it's something different because we're trying to tell a story, nigga. We're trying to show you that this was really happening in our life, nigga, so you ain't got to look at your life as a fucking trash can, nigga. Mm. Nigga, I'm on TV doing this shit. I'm making money doing this shit, so you living that shit is okay, nigga. That shit okay. The whole world seeing me go through this shit, a whole world might see a motherfucker, a, a woman go... Be with a whole nother nigga and look at me like I ain't shit, like I ain't got nothing. Right. Like I was nothing the whole time she was with me. But you know that's not true because you watched it. You know what I'm saying? You was able to see it. You know what I'm saying? Or you seen this man disrespect this woman the whole time she was on there, the whole time he was on there, and all of a sudden, boom, she's able to go beyond this man because she stood the test of time. She did everything she's supposed to do in the right way. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, the man did everything he's supposed to do in the right way, and that's why he's standing up there. It's all work, my nigga. All work. Facts. And you know, a nigga like Finesse two times, you know, he said, what you think this is, love and hip-hop? Yeah. And I have to ask you then. Yeah. You see a situation like a love and hip-hop situation play out in real life, and I just need your thoughts on it. Uh, where Tory Lanez, yeah. he gets found guilty for the Megan shooting. Um, What were your thoughts as far as that case, the trial, it was it. It wasn't televised, but damn near you could. That was the first. That, that was the first time that we had to have a black on black OJ trial. Oh my god, you that's what exactly saying? what it felt like. It, it was a black on black OJ trial because you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't be like, oh, she white, oh, he black, oh. Yeah. You had to be like, this us. Yeah, yeah, this us. us nigga. Yeah, like, this. We got, we I, gotta figure it I out, see, nigga. I see me and both of them. Yeah, I see me and both of them. You know what I'm saying? I see my mom, I see my sister, I see my wife, I see my daughter, I see my girl, I see my homegirl, I I see me, you know, I see my daddy, I see, you know what I'm saying? You see everybody, you see you, just you in that motherfucker, and we sitting there like this. Like, Like, hey, man, we, we, we put, you know how we do, we putting out our, we, hey, man, I don't know, cuz, cuz, my goddamn did it. Nah, fuck that shit, cuz didn't do that shit, brother. And, And it's like, I feel like we should take accountability of our shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Black men, man, black women. Listen, I don't know what kind of war we in right now, bro. The way we going at each other, bro. But it's like, that shit is sickening, my nigga. That shit is like, that shit is like worse than the Ku Klux Klan, my nigga, to me. That shit is worse than a white person hanging a black person. That 
black women is standing up for black women and black men is standing up for black men. And I'm like, hey man, hold on, what are we doing? Like, did we forget like what's going on right now? Like, I right. mean, I mean, you're black, right? Like, I mean, I know I'm black. I don't know, you know what I'm saying, how you look at yourself, you feel me? But if we both look in the mirror, I can guarantee you we're black. You know what I'm saying? And the reason we're fighting each other right now is like a disgrace to the whole shit. Because a black woman is sitting there like, I see what we've been through. Yeah, but guess what? We all been through it. It's a nigga putting you through some shit right now. Guess what? A nigga done put me through it too. A nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And the cracker. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not going to excuse myself for saying what I said. Like, a cracker and a nigga done put a nigga through hella shit. You feel what I'm saying? So we got to just look at see... Whose side we gonna be on? You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to them, they gonna be on their side. When it comes to us, we gonna be on their side. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just, you know, we gotta just look at that, is that and look at it in reality. That's just the way it is. When it comes to shit like this or anything, we always gonna be with them. We will go be with them against a whole nother country. We got army niggas that's uh, with the army. That's how they get their check. They can't, hey man, I, this is how I get my check, bro. I ain't, hey bro, I know what y'all niggas saying, bro, but shit, bro, look, bro. I'm stupid and fuck already, bro. That's how I get my check. Yeah. <laughs> Rap niggas. <clears throat> Hey, bro, but I ain't finna go fight for no goddamn cracker, bud, in the country, bud. What the fuck you talking about, bud? And you like, bro, you live here, my nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you like, <laughs> like, they country, nigga. Your mama don't live here, nigga. Like, you got, I mean, you got future motherfuckers that you ain't even gonna be here for this part of you, nigga. They ain't gonna be here, nigga. Like, you know what you talking about? But nobody wants to get that part. Like, it's like, this shit just so selfish, nigga. Like, this whole shit selfish, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you go, I mean, you can't go back further enough where you can't find it. It's selfish. You know what I'm saying? That niggas is just selfish. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never address black people as N-I-G-G-E-R-S. I is N-I-G-G-A-S, but for real. And I didn't even change it to N-I-C-C-A-S. You know what I'm saying? For real. You know, never ignorant cash and checks always, but we still fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, cause we we good now. I mean, we they even they gave us shit that we really can come up off of for real and be above them, but niggas ain't finna do that shit. Man, do you think that somebody should have spoke up? I mean, she was literally saying, Hey, he shot me. Nobody, you know, niggas kinda took their size, but when you really look at it, that's no no, because it came from the everyday shit. Yeah. It come from the everyday of a woman saying a nigga did something that he ain't do. So we have to give it the benefit of the doubt. We have to give him the benefit of the doubt because it's a hundred, a billion women out there that done said some false shit and it came out to be untrue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though we got sisters, mamas, wives, you know, cousins, friends, homegirls, like, you know, even when it comes to a black dude saying some shit that he didn't do, we still be like, even when the police do something, sometimes you be like, what that nigga do, cuz? <laughs> you be like, what the nigga do, cuz? Like, I know us. You, you know yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's all. California is talking about giving reparations back to their black uh, people who live in that state um, in the excess of $5 million a person. Mm -hmm. Do you think we really gonna see that and if they were to see? Do you think black people are really gonna see that? And if they were to see that, what do you think that would be? That's paperwork. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of people out here. I mean, shit, OJ still owe Nicole and Ron Goldman 33 something million, nigga. That's paperwork, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna give y'all reparation. They'll probably give like 10 people, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Probably 20. You know what I'm saying? Just to show, just to show us good faith, you know what I'm saying? If they do it, if they move yeah. on it. But if they don't move on it, I say it just, it's some shit that's gonna happen within due time, man. Like, you if, if we fight enough for it, we'll get it. But I, you know, I see less people fighting for reparation, you know, you know, I see way less people fighting for reparation than they own house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is just fighting for themselves, my nigga. Like, ain't nobody trying to like, nah, we're not doing what other races do. Put it like that. We black are not. people don't do what other races. Black people don't take up for black people unless it's their homeboy and they probably kill him in the end anyway. You nah, me? nah, man, that's real. Um, and I have to ask, because, you know, you come, man, Scott, you've been doing this for decades now to where I wonder and I question, um, 
when and uh I want you of course give your uh uh give your condolences uh to Gangsta Boo. Does that make you feel you no know, like more morality check? Like you said, I'm I'm doing stuff for my health now. I wanna be here long. Man, I was just with Gangsta Boo. You oh, know what I'm saying? She came to my concert when we was on tour. Um on um it was like the 29th of uh November. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was just with her and she she would hear me. She was like, bro, I wanna come out there with y'all. Like, and um Man, just to see her, and I and I really talked to her like a week before that happened. Like just oh, talking damn. to her, and just to see that happen, man. I'm like, I don't understand niggas. Like, let's go back to me, cause go back to me, cause it's like, cause we don't buy shit from white folk. We don't buy weed, and we don't buy drugs from white folk. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't buy it from no other race. We we fuck with who we familiar with. You know what I'm saying? And for us not to be on our shit knowing what we selling, you know what I'm saying? Or if we put shit in it, like, what the fuck happened to the money part? Like, I, that, that's my own thing. Just yeah, yeah. sell your shit, get your money. All this, fit, you know, putting fentanyl and all that kind of crazy. It like, it like, bro, you fucking up the money. Like, you ain't yeah. even making no money. Like, what were you, you making it hot? Like, yeah, you, you don't, yeah. I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? Then for a, a person like that, just to be smoking weed, cause like these people that smoking weed and dying off that shit, cause yeah, like that shit, that shit got me fucked up, cause I smoke hella weed. Come on, man. hella weed, and I ain't gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? So it like, you know, you just pray, bro. You just pray that you don't come into that situation, like you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, you know, gangsta boo is like, you would look at her, you like, man, she, she, you know, she's too successful for that shit, bro. But you can't keep the dude that's that's unsuccessful, that's trying to get there from putting fentanyl and shit. You know what I'm saying? Facts, like, weed ain't, weed, weed ain't a real drug, bro. Like, I mean, I done been to rehab and everything. I done passed the whole, I done went through the whole thing. Weed, to me, is not a weird, real drug. It's a mind altering drug. I mean, mind altering uh, chemical type situation, but that shit calm motherfuckers down. All that. Other shit, cuz they be taking, making motherfuckers just energize up on the motherfucker, <clears throat> cut a whole motherfucker head off, eat a motherfucker face and shit like that. Man, like, come on now. And they that shit is in the stores. That My shit God. in the stores. My it's God. Stuff. So, um, and lastly, I just want to have you, of course, touch on this um, and just kind of what we learned from this. I, the last time we had you here, of course, that was going into the end of October, going to November. And, um, you know, of course, you know, the takeoff situation, of course, in Houston. And then, you know, we talked about Mo3 at the time. Yeah. And just you as a as a rapper that made it to the age, you know, that you are now, is there any advice you could give, you know, just the young rappers coming up? Because it looks like, again, we're playing a dangerous game now to where it's almost like the early 90s with the Bloods and Crips, the way people play with their lives now yeah. and just, you know, kind of throw their lives away sometimes or at least be in scenarios to where they don't care too much about longevity and seeing you know, 65 and retiring. Yeah, yeah. Any advice you could give young artists um, that's coming up in this game, you know, how you got through what you got through? I ain't gonna even lie. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna say God, cause that shit sounds so cliche, but I've been connected with God since I was like three years old. And I done been through the worst shit ever. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like the faith that I done had is the faith that everybody got to have. I mean, I'm sure everybody got faith, but it's like you got to have that strong <laughs> shit, bro. Like you got to like you gotta know you're going to make it out. Even if you just believe in yourself, my nigga, because that's where it started. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Take whatever talent that you got and make that shit legit. You know what I'm saying? So you can... You ain't got to, like, if, if you're looking out for something, you're looking out for the robbing crew or some, somebody trying to take from you. You're not looking out for the cops trying to shut you down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want something left for your kids. Cause, so even if, the, if, the, if a cop come kill you or the hood nigga come kill you, nigga, you got something for your kids that's legitimate, that's sitting up somewhere that you can, you know what I'm saying, you can take care of them with and you can... Like, your name will always be remembered for taking care of your kids, you know, taking care of your business, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't enough just to say what you want to do in life, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga really got to change some shit. 
for your environment to change. Like you gotta change the shit for everybody, like everybody, the world. You know what I'm saying? For you to be able to live. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta go and make some accomplishments that uh, that change the block, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Change the way they look at people that look like you. You know what I'm saying? Like when you do stuff like that, that means you 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 uh, giving service to people. You know what I'm saying? You you know you putting up that service, and it ain't about you. You know what I'm saying? Whenever it's selfless, that shit go a long way. Even if you don't see it at first, that shit go a long way, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about trapping. If you selfless and trapping, it go a long way. You 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 a killer like all that shit. If you you just I ain't gonna even say like kill people and sell drugs. I'm just saying like like if you believe in God, you believe in Jesus, all that shit, man. Like them folk really <clears throat> fuck with rat the ratchets of people, my nigga. Like the hooders of people, and the only way them hood people change is they change their mindset of how they want the shit to look around them. You know what I'm saying? Like I want this shit to be like this, so. You gotta be the one to change it. Cause you the one thought about that shit. I gotta do I, I gotta make this shit happen because ain't nobody else thinking the way you thinking. You gotta make that shit a you gotta manifest that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Make that shit a reality. Hey man, um man, it's so profound, brother. It just you know, it astounds us every time. Uh you got any shout outs? I ain't got no shout outs, man. Uh well, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, shout the uh, big, the big homie man, uh, Larry Hoover. Uh, shout the big Crusher. Shout the Max Steve, Matt Chris. You know what I'm saying? All my people, all my kids, man. Like love my babies, love my parents. You know what I'm saying? Love all my guys, man. True. You know what I'm saying? Like we. You know, like, when it comes to shout outs and shit, I don't really be doing that shit, man. Like, uh, people know who they is in my life and shit. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of us, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? We trying to come up one day. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, I mean, I don't know if people just be sitting there and not honestly, like, witnessing what's in your eyes. But if you look at what I'm looking at, you will see that we coming up and we falling at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like it, like people, like you, we get to see black people thrive, but at the same time, like we see black people die, like way more than they ever died before. And it's like we doing it. You know what I'm saying? So I just spread to people like, man, fuck with your people, man. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your people, like your cousin folk. You know what I'm saying? Your skin folk. You know what I'm saying? Take care of them folk. And then them other folk, man, you know what I'm saying? Just pray for them. No, it's love because a week after you came through, we had Mark Cuban come sit down right after you. And I'm like, wow, look uh, at progression. Yeah. Little scrappy to Mark Cuban. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> for real. Hey, man, we just want to thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule to come sit down with us, man. Appreciate hey. y'all having me. It's, it's, it's a service for me. Hey, man. Love, love. Service for me. Hey, and it's the best part. Little Scrappy, big Scrappy, you know, little. Not the little one. Not the little one. <laughs> you are a real life street star. Shout out real life street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.